I don't touch baby girl's record. Y'all yeah, know that's Aaliyah. I was riding home one day, sleep. She spoke to me in my sleep and said she's the one. Well, goddamn. Now, listen, obviously, um, Timbaland has been watching a little bit too much Matrix because apparently he claims he has found the next one, one in a million. And apparently the one is uh, on the rise rapper slash singer out of Chirac named Tink. Now, according to Timbaland, the Oracle told him who the one was. And he revealed this on stage at the uh, Fader Ford's South by Southwest showcase on Saturday. Now, he came on stage during her performance, and that's Tink, and he said, listen, man, Aaliyah appeared to him in a dream and told him that Tink is the one. Now, that's some real magical and mystical type of shit. I mean, Tink is a great artist. Maybe she is the one. I mean, I like her music, but I'm seeing a trend happening here that I'm looking like, hmm, let's slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit because I'm hearing more, more and more people praise her potential and her talent rather than letting people get the chance for themselves to hear the actual body of work and make their own minds up, right? Don't get me wrong, she got a couple good songs and I give credit to my homie Charlemagne. He put me on months ago. He predicted this shit and months later, a lot of people are really jumping on the bandwagon. It's great, but this is my only concern because listen, she got a couple of songs. She got a song right now that's moving. It's called Ratchet Commandments. It's dope. She got another song. It was kind of like a controversial feature with Ricky Rose and of course Jay-Z and of course the biggest boss wasn't really feeling it. Remember that? He said the song shouldn't have came out, but Timbaland leaked it, right? Here's my only concern. I mean, I'm hearing Aaliyah references. I'm hearing Lauryn Hill references, which is cool, but she doesn't have a debut mainstream album out yet. So you're giving me standards that she should be, she's like. However, we don't have anything to really compare it to. We don't have the body work yet. Now, I like her music, but to me, I listen to her music, and it, I think it has a niche audience. And what I mean by that is that she kind of spits that introspective, positive, yet relatable to the youth music. However, I'm just not that convinced everybody want to hear about how they should stop popping their pussy for the gram, have some self-respect, or they should call out other niggas for being deadbeat dads. Like, listen, that is some great positive music that I wish would be really permeating the streets. However, the place where society is at now... And the um, concepts and topics that dominate hit music are just not that. Now, maybe she's a change that Timbaland is saying because he says she's the one. However, I'm not sure. Historically, hip-hop has lifted up those who kind of glamorize money, glamorize the fame, glamorize fucking the thotties, of course, glamorize being promiscuous, and fuck it, let's just keep it real, glamorize coonery. We, we, we gotta keep it real. Come on now. Now, listen, I'm going to give Timbaland the benefit of the doubt, at least right now, because Timbaland has earned and deserved that. He's one of the guys that has. But I'm hearing way too much praise, at least from industry heads, and I'm just not hearing enough people, regular people, give that praise or really mirror that praise. Maybe I'm not listening to the right people, but listen, listen, it, it, it's, it's supposed to be leaving an impression on the people, yet... When you hear so many people within the industry, you hear a lot of producers, I hear a lot of rappers co-signing her. It's kind of like there's a term that people use. It's called an industry plant. Where you see somebody kind of come up and you see there's not that much of a huge movement. And, I, and she does have a huge movement, so don't get, me, don't get it fucked up. But when you see somebody constantly getting praised, and th all right, I, I'll actually give an um, analogy. Iggy Azalea, and in no way, shape, or form is her talent equatable to Iggy. Iggy is like garbage. Garbage. Tink is really, 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 really good. I, I, I think she's one of the top rappers in the game right now as females. That's how dope she is. That's how dope I think she is. However, when Iggy was first coming up, T.I. pushed Iggy all down our throats. It's, that's what I call force feed in the public. When you force feed the public, and especially like in hip hop, you force feed the consumer a particular rapper or uh, some type of artiste, usually, yeah, they'll eventually take it, right? They'll eventually eat it, but eventually comes a point where they vomit that person back out. That's what happened to Iggy. People say, you know what? Oh, okay, wait, so I'm, I wasn't the only one that wasn't really feeling Iggy like that? Because everybody had this impression like, oh, yo, this, this chick was really dope. Then everybody in the back of their mind was like, yo, yeah, yeah, she's kind of whack. But nobody said anything till they realized, oh, yeah, she is motherfucking kind of whack. 
Now look at what Iggy's at least publicly percepted to be. So what I'm saying is that this, because I think Tink is dope and somebody's going to listen to this and they're going to misinterpret it. I think she's fucking dope. I'm just, when I hear these comparisons, it gives me, it makes me pause because I'm like, okay now, okay, Aaliyah, we're here in Lauren Hill. Okay, let's slow it down. Let's slow it the fuck down. Because I'm, what I'm saying is that people like hearing these cosigns from, the best thing about music is this. I like hearing cosigns from other people. I like discovering people on my own. I don't like you telling me exactly what it is. I like this. There's nothing more priceless than bumping into somebody, right? When I bumped into even, even on a, it's on a different level, but even Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap, I, ran, I bu- accidentally bumped into his music, right? Now, when I listen, and I listen to it, I'm like, yo, this is fucking dope. Now, it's different than, you know, that one artist that people always tell, yo, go check this out. This is the hottest shit. When someone's constantly telling you, yo, this is the next legend, you're looking at like, like, yo, nigga, what? You better stop. So I think that's some of that's going on right now. And um, listen, according to Timberland, she's the one. Hey, listen, we're hearing this over and over. I'm not sure where this is really leading to. I'm not saying she cannot be the one. But it gives me a little bit of reason to pause because historically, people who are then touted to be the one, it's not like basketball. You can't just predict the next LeBron from high school. We need to see somebody at work, right? We need to see somebody at work. You never know. Tim could turn out like fucking Charles Hamilton, right? Oh, is that his name, Charles Hamilton? I don't even know what that guy's name is. So you guys get in the comment box, man. What do you guys think? Do you guys think she is the one? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. It's your Woody Jackademics. I'm out.